today we are going to focus on the journey of women in Uganda for the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. And um, Abachala, mm -hmm. huh? Abachala these days are becoming powerful in all <laughs> spheres. We have presidents now, conductors. Uh, we have speakers, conductors. Uh, so we are going to look at that journey since tomorrow is uh, uh, International Women's Day. To get a question with Abachala, Uganda, Bavudewa, Bagena, Wama, so being to Chiwa, Wafinemo, so Mozawa. And in, in a world where um, men are dominant, mm. but also women are now getting uh, to that so level where, where we, we need a CEO who is a woman and a CEO who is a man, competitive advantage, uh, we need to look at that today. If you want to follow this discussion, go to Facebook, Minibas Uganda, tweet us at Minibas Uganda, and you can send us a text on your phone, 6565. I'll uh, probably uh, because the women will of course start right away by, by telling us we are powerful. Abachala, mm. right now, do you think uh, they they have earned their place in society? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when I uh, was still young, those days, the women's day were not being considered. <laughs> these days, I can see people coming up and they, they, they are, uh, in fact, they are very happy about the Women's Day. Mm. Mm. So I give thanks to the government at least for trying to... Celebrating Women's Day. Yes. We, I think we should thank the government, but we also need to recognize the fact that there's a women's movement in this country, you know? The things that women are doing right now, the things that we have achieved, it's not just because the government woke up in the morning and said, let's give women these rights. People had to fight for those rights. The Matembe's, the mm. Sylvia Tamales, those are women who have been fighting for women's rights from ever since the NRM government, even before the NRM government at independence, we had women like Roda Karema who have been, you know, when she first stood for political office after independence, when she got to campaign, would say, Our man. <laughs> <laughs> because in their heads, woman. only a man can run for political office. Yeah. But now we have women running for political office and say, Our woman, you know? Yeah. So we are demystifying slowly but surely women are actually getting our place in society. And it's because we fought for it. Nobody gave it what, to what us. What was the birth of the what, Ugandan woman? This, this political movement, this movement of women that is coming up. Mm. Now, when did it start? I like the way you say the birth of, of the Ugandan woman because really that's what uh, women are all about, isn't it? That's the most special quality we have. Mm. However powerful a man is, he was born of a woman, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so I'd say that the, the celebration of it has been going on for at least 10 or 15 years. Um, that it's been there, but it's really been the past sort of five or six years that we've really seen everybody's now celebrating. I don't know if you saw on your phone, mm. we're celebrating women this month, type woman and yes. win a, a free win. thing yeah. at Serena. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So all of a sudden it's become a bandwagon to, to, to ride on. Yeah. Mm. Because now uh, you mess with the woman, Kati. Is <laughs> <laughs> the woman will take you on. You will fight physically. Actually, it's hard for you to go to police and report a woman. But yes. a, a woman can go and report a woman you and can you. Mm. But I was a man. Yeah. I was a man. 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 In the past, um, mm. was a song as our Valuous so so you you actually think the umchala with the ngono mami chage o kumute kema vega chali to to make her behave nga o kumute mingi did it necessarily translate to Mchala Uwa? Yes, and I got to tell you that I got to go to the Muru. Well, I want to go to Makumuka. Eh? Go no, you're not going to go to the Muru. Eh? Go no, you're not going to go to the Muru. Eh? Go no, you're not going to go to the Muru. Eh? Go no, you're not going to go to the Muru. Eh? Go no, you're not going to go to the Muru. Eh? Go
You, you seem to be a very happy woman that we have Women's Day and it's coming tomorrow and we're going to celebrate it. How are you How are you planning on celebrating Women's Day? Um, for me, Women's what Day is a big deal because, of course, I identify as a feminist, so Women's Day is a big deal for me. So I always do it big. And so basically, but this time it's just chilling, What's the plan? Going, to, going swimming and all that. Oh, you're chilling so, on women's day? Yes, chilling with my girls, having fun. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. We're mm -hmm. celebrating the fact that we've come this far. Mm -hmm. I'm in fourth year law school. There's a time that's when right. women couldn't do that, mm -hmm. you know? There's a time when we couldn't, wouldn't be allowed to sit in a class with how many boys, you know? Mm -hmm. Right now there's an argument going on at McCray University that affirmative action is a problem, especially at the school of law. Because now in my class there are 75 boys, no actually we are 75 and we are 60, about 69 girls and then 11 or 12 boys. Wow. That's wow. my day class. Hey. So that's a problem. At the end of the day that's a problem because then affirmative action becomes a problem if we're going to see now men are being kicked out of the system at some point. But then the system has been reformed, you know. Mm. So now they see that a faculty like law does not need so much affirmative action because clearly women have been doing arts courses over time so we are more mm. but in a faculty like engineering mm. where there are two girls in a class of a hundred people they still need affirmative action you right. see yeah grace amoge is a legal a lawyer at the minister of defense mm. let's take a look at what she has and when we come back we'll be uh, celebrating some of the women and we'll be sharing the victories for women but also some of the challenges they need to overcome uh, in 2013 as we move forward. Remember, the theme this year is the gender-gender gaining momentum. Don't go away. Take a look at this. Ugandan women over the last 50 years have come a long way. They've made a tremendous effort. In terms of leadership, when we go to parliament, you see we have broken the record that there are over 129 members of parliament. Uh, we've had, we have the, the speaker of parliament being a woman, one of the most high-ranking positions in this country. We also have the deputy chief justice in this country as a female person. Women over the past 50 years have come out more confidently to join leadership positions, to join politics, to go in sectors of justice, business, banking, and something that was not there the last 50 years. The big achievements I've, the big achievements I've spoken about have encouraged a local woman to stand out and be confident, to know that she can also make it as any other woman. They've, it has encouraged the woman at home to take the girl child to school. How are you going to celebrate your women's day? to send you sent to Afuna, everybody barated, when it comes to this, maybe there is one lady I can look at. Yes. In my life, that's my mom. Mm. She's a single mother. Yes. She has been able to raise me from senior four. Mm. Now I'm at campus and I'm graduating next year. Wow! Bravo. Wow. I hope she's watching the show. Yeah. Yeah. She tell us to watch the show. Fantastic, yeah. that's good. Any so you're celebrating woman? your mother. Yeah. Bunevi Anima was recently appointed as the the new head of Oxfam, Oxfam International mm -hmm. and uh, she's doing a great job. She's been at UNDP for years mm -hmm. but now she's going to head Oxfam. She actually won the award for women of substance. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. Yeah, she's there having yeah. a lot women, of women. Please woman? tell us some of the women who you know. Justice Julia Sewutide who is now at the ICJ, mm -hmm. first female judge at the ICJ. <laughs> Ugandan judge, you know, mm. she mm. was the one who was persecuting those corrupt officials at the URA. Powerful woman. Mm. Mm. Those are the women we are celebrating. Sylvia Tamale, who is my professor. Mm. Those are the powerful women we are celebrating. Mia Matembe. Mm. She stood on the floor of parliament and said men who rape women should be castrated. Right. And people mm. say she's too extreme, but, but those are the women who have done a lot to bring women where we are right mm. now. Those are right. the women I celebrate. Mm. Right. Some of the women you're celebrating tomorrow. 
I love some of the uh, sports women of Uganda. I know we hear so much about the politicians and the doctors and the lawyers, but some of the sports ladies, I mean, Dokas in Zikuru and all those ladies, we, mm. they just make us cheer, right? You, mm. you just stand up and you're like shaking your fist in the air. Go, go! Mm. So I have to say, the sports women of Uganda, I'm celebrating you. So what are some of your celebrated women? We're celebrating her also. Uh, she makes us yes. laugh. Yes. 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 Um, the <laughs> president of Malawi is a, is a woman, but no. The president of South Korea is a woman. Uh, the, the the outgoing secretary for um, for what's the what's that the secretary, secretary of state of state for the U.S. Hillary Clinton. Uh, all these are women. Abachala mwenye jamuli jagala of course of kwebaza for the good job you've done. Abachala abakuzava na alone. Msaja na kuduka ko. No le merako. You look after your children until they've graduated. You are celebrated uh, this year. The theme for Women's Day this year is uh, gaining the agenda, the gender agenda, gaining momentum. Uh, of course, doing a domestic relations bill is in Parliament right now to protect women. I think that's why it starts from when these women are all over the world, you know, pushing their agendas. You kind of don't blame them because men have lost their places in society. I think it's time for us men to go back to a place where we are protectors and providers for women. Uh,